Okay, so uh, Pixel Amusement was saying on his um, Ancient DOS games program that uh, no one knew whether this edition of Seek and Destroy was the full game or just the shareware edition, because I guess what he was saying was that this software publishing house B&N uh, is notorious for shipping shareware versions of games and not labeling what version you're getting on the box. Um, and so these are all used now, and there's no info online. Um, so I thought I'd just open this and pop it on. Let's see what's really in this thing. Look, this was pretty cheap, so... Either way, it'd be kind of cool to have a seek and destroy something in my collection. If you don't know this game, is kind of a cool game, ported from the Amiga. Uh, and I, I can't open this. Hang on, one sec. Okay. This is, I don't think this, this is the original shrink wrap. It's very soft. But, there's the one copy on eBay, so. Okay, nice manual. And a, a disc. Flip through this. Gus Goes to Cookie Carnival. Be playing that. Why are we playing this story? Be playing Gus Goes to Cookie Carnival. Yeah, there's no indication here. Let's, uh... Pop this dude on and... See what's going on with it. And yeah, so over here... It says Epic Mega Games. Can you see it? Ah, gotta get into the camera. There you go. Epic Mega Games. So for young people who don't know, um, that's the same guys doing Gears of War. But this was developed by someone else. Um, I think it was uh, Vision, was it? Um, or I, I guess I guess maybe Vision was just the Amiga publisher because they also published this awesome thing, Roadkill. This game is great. I'll show it at some point. Just want to mention it. Um, I was going to find a box copy of this a long time ago. Uh, not a long time ago, a couple years ago. Um, it's a really cool top view racing meets Mortal Kombat <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, the, the attitude is Mortal Kombat, there's no, you know, fighting in it. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's pop this guy on. Let's take Hellbender out. Pop, seek, and destroy in. This is, uh, if you don't know, this is Hellbender. Remember when Microsoft made games? Haha. Ha. Okay, so we've got... Oh, guys, it's gonna need Windows. Oh, no, it doesn't need Windows. Okay. Full install. Okay, I guess we'll do full. That doesn't mean full version necessarily, you know. Um... Yeah, I do want to install it now. Games, miss, game, seek. Yes. Got a bunch of games on this. I'd like to keep it organized in some way. Safari is a division of Epic. Was it really? So I remember... Oh, I'm thinking of Eclipse, I guess, not Safari. Yeah, they, they distributed a lot of stuff from Amiga companies, because there was uh, Turian, which I think Eclipse distributed, and that was, uh, oh sorry, that's by Eclipse, distributed by Safari. Uh, did they do Highway Hunter, which I, it was a DOS original, but I think it was, uh, I think it was a Russian game. Um, okay. I guess that's it. Oh, don't boot up. No, don't build that again. Okay. So, back to... Drive C. Games. Where we put this thing. There you go, seek. There's setup. Alright. Well, we've got, uh... I think it's five. Uh, Where's my blaster? <laughs> oh, I'll just do it. Ultra high quality, we've got to do that. Let's see. 
Ah. Okay. Seek and ye, ye shall find. Yeah. I'll just call it and move the joystick so you can see the the coolness here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is a full game or not. How could I tell? Oh yeah, there we go. Measured version. So this is indeed the full version of the game. Let me show you how it plays real quick. I don't know if you can see it well on the camera. I got lazy, I didn't want to set up all the capture software. I don't even know what the controls are. I really should be using the joystick, I just don't want to set it up right now. It's probably digital control anyway, coming from the Amiga. All right, this is cool. Oh, okay, we're switching weapons here. Okay, I guess we're go. We go somewhere. Let me adjust the monitor here. Um, there we go. That's a little bit better. And v size. This is a neck multi sync. It's a cool monitor, but the. Uh, the downside is that you have to uh, manually adjust it quite a bit. It's not really controlled, it's too early for that. We're going to fight towards this blob of black spots on the radar. Oh, that's my home base. Okay. Guess we go this way. It's kind of like a desert strike, but more shooty. If you like these kind of games too, another way you should check out is Z-Wolf on the Amiga. I didn't click with it that much, but okay, we stop here. Oh, oh shit! Blow these dudes up. Involvement. There's that. Uh, I think Roadkill says Overkill too. When you you get this bonus. Oh my gosh, you that game. That game is so cool. I keep talking about it. I'm pretty sure it's by different people. Roadkill. Is that the name? I can't remember. Where it was. Oh yeah, Roadkill. <laughs> no, anyway, this is kind of what you do. You blow stuff up, rescue hostages. It gets harder and harder. Um. Yeah. But yeah, to answer the question, it is registered. What options we get? Yeah. All right. Well, so that that's pretty much it. Um, uh, yes, this isn't quite a review. Sorry. Uh, next time, maybe I'll review this, or maybe I'll review Roadkill even. Um, and be sure to watch Ancient DOS games. That channel's great and reminded me of this little gem here. Uh, and this game doesn't get talked about a whole lot, so yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. Definitely go check out that channel.